Hi guys, back again, ripping yarn part three. <laughs> All right, major announcement. Yahweh wants the world to know that he's uh, he's has been working now for a couple of weeks on another magnetic motor. This time it is magnificent. He's going to make it available to the world, all of the parts. He's simplified it. It's going to be in perspex. You can see it all working. Truly magnificent. Available for anybody who wants it free to the world. Okay. Now, continuing with our time traveling machine. Which you can get made at any laser cutting cut. Yeah. Oh, he's just saying you can get it made at any laser. Well, you've just got to buy the screws. Sorry, got it he says all you've got to do is buy the screws. Okay. All right. Exciting. Continuing right along. So while nations developed religions, cities, laws, the evil of men in secret societies used ignorance and fear yeah. to dominate the known world. In India, we have the 5,000-year-old Vedas, however. Vedas means angel. In them, Jesus Christ is named as Yahweh, who would come to the earth as God in the flesh, crowned with thorns, scourged, nailed to a cross, purged the world of sin, for this to come and was written 4,000 years ago. They also predict his return as God in the flesh and would be made known in the year 2012. The undeniable truth is in the Great Pyramid base, 25,000 miles as followed. 25,000 miles divided by 2 multiplied by 5280, which is the number of feet in a mile, times 12 equals 3168000000. Greek Gematria is Lord 800, Christ, sorry, <laughs> start again. Greek Gematria is Lord 800, Jesus 888, and Christ 1480, totaling 3168, and 31680 kilometres was the distance around the globe at Karen, the latitude. Karen, you said that you were younger. I said, what? Said you were younger. Is that what you said? <laughs> Big pardon? She said you look younger. <laughs> what do you do? What did you say? <laughs> I said you look younger. I said Karen look younger. She's de-aged 20 years since being here in just three short weeks. <laughs> Joel has remained the same. He's only 34 years old. <laughs> okay. So what have we got? Back to the ripping yard. The pyramid secrets were slowly being revealed once the measure was established. Not on the above, but the diameter of the Earth divided by 500 million equals 1.00106 English inches. Slightly inaccurate, but was within their methods of accuracy at that time. That is, the king's chamber latitude is the speed of light number in kilometres per second. Having knowledge it's of the actually foot now of the pyramid because there's a slight movement of the axis due to the precession of the equinox since we've built. Thank you for explaining that. All right, so bottom line is they had knowledge of NIDA, as they simply had no tools to achieve it. Since then, a disinformation program was perpetuated upon the young amid its precision, we're talking about the Great Pyramid here, its location, measure in kilometres, metres, millimetres or miles, feet, inches or nautical miles, etc. all confirm events of birth, location of the Lord Jesus Christ's rebirth as the true king of the earth genetically, precisely to the very crib being the distance to the south pole 3875 nautical miles, a number that is absolute. The number for Comforter. From John 14:26, quoting, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, 
whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. End of quote. So what is he talking about? He was the dude Jesus. The Father was inside of him. So he knew he was going to be out of there and back in the heavenly realm and he'd be coming back at the time of the end. The Father, who is the Comforter himself, and he will teach you all things just as he has been doing for decades and bring all things to your remembrance. Who is he speaking to? The ones who were with him at the time. Hello! Like me. The mouth from the south, Martha, his wife, and the others who were with him at the time bring all things to your remembrance. So wake up. Was he speaking to the world at large in the Christian of bullshit? Were you, darling? Honey, were you speaking to the world of bullshit at large, the Christians who have rejected you? Were you speaking to them specifically at that time? The you who will bring all things to your remembrance. Oh, cool. <laughs> you said the right thing? No. Oh. <laughs> Christians awake. <laughs> Unless you were standing in front of him at the time. He wasn't talking to you. What have you got? What? Oh. Oh. So what have you got? You've got dentures. And a stash. Oh, oh. Make sure we get a good shot of this one. We can't tell what's going on because I've got the... <laughs> wait, wait on. We have to have a look. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Can tell what's going yeah. on. Oh, okay. There we go. Look. Okay, so you've got um, dentures. <laughs> These are gummies, by the way. Wait a minute. And an orange moustache. It's upside down. Your moustache is. <laughs> now, let's, I always... Let's just go for the dentures, I don't think. All right. I always said God was a dork. <laughs> and if it's odd, it's got to be God. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's wearing his dentures on his glasses. <laughs> well, you can always find them when you look in the mirror. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. All right. <laughs> Back to the ripping yarn. Okay. Next line. The unknown to Rome. Number one, they thought the earth was flat. Number two, the Greek translation code locked up in a concordance late 1830s strong concordance of the 1611 KGB. Or three, how easily to number the words in the KJV. Oh, this is leading on to the 3875 equals the number for the word comforter, the ghost of Jesus, the soul of the Father, in the offspring genetically of Jesus and Martha. Four, God in the flesh of the true genetic king from Jesse. That leads us to Isaiah 11.10 in the KJV. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles speak, and his rest shall be glorious. So the bottom line is the Gentiles are the Arab nations and Iran. To him, the root of Jesse, Brian, let it go lightly, Marshall, the Gentiles seek. And his rest shall be glorious. So, you know, he'll be resting as the Gentiles are waking up, coming to seek him and his wisdom, knowledge and counsel. And then go out and turn hell into paradise for all the nations. Now roll back the stone 10 degrees back to Isaiah 11, 1. What have we got? Quoting, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. In Hebrew we add up every seventh letter. 
and it equals Jesus 888 Gematria. It's also the rebirth date, January 11th, 11-1, 1-1-1. Now the obvious, the gestation period of 280 days falls on April the 6th in 1943, which is also the date of the resurrection, 1910 years earlier. So the next obvious is Isaiah 9-6. 96th day of the year, and it's a reference, again, to the resurrection. And what does it say? Clear and to the point, it is so because doubters say it cannot be so, nor do they talk about it. Quoting Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. That's why they're so broad. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. It's all very simple and so bloody obvious. Fine, there we go, Lightning Marshall. The proof, once again, is in every seventh letter of the Hebrew, totaling 888 for the verse. Going back to Rome. Oh, you got rid of your dentures, babe. Did you eat them? <laughs> I ate them. You ate your dentures. Okay. All right. We're moving right along in this oh, happy yarn. Right. Okay. So you are of the root of Jesse. Not David. Not. Da it's got nothing to do with David. David was a murderer. <sighs> okay. As a stumbling block. Backing up a little. Out of Rome sprang the Holy Roman Empire. It, the biblical great whore. And from it comes Elizabeth. As a stumbling block, the Koran was controlled by infiltrating scribes to gather the various sayings, stories, and generally mimicking the Old Testament Torah with the God of wrath. All religions of the time are mistakenly thought to be Egyptian. Ra, Osiris, Seth, and the story mirrors the much older religion. Males think in more mechanical terms, like you working on a sermon for men and women, as well as little boys and little girls. Yar always speaks to new proselytes as children. Quoting from Matthew 23:15, Greek Concordance 4339. A child is new, raw innocence. What is the danger from a Freemason Bible taught to babes for the first tender years? The beast above the Freemason nations of Israel, the ten lost sheep devoured by Solomon, were captured and then scattered to Europe by Nineveh. Now all Freemasonry dominated is nonetheless obliged to scan the horizon for any possible adverse situation. Albeit they knew Yahweh was to be reborn on January 11th, 1944. Tavistock Institute. We lived on the corner of Tavistock in Harvey Bay. Six months. And so when Yahweh was in Canada in 1989, once again, the first visit in 1966, why? Because Lucifer in Hebrew from 1984 is that number, 1966. Yahweh fully comprehended that his odd behaviour was linked to the promise that he made to God when he was two four, two four days old, which was August the 31st, 1950. Today's August the 30th, 2012. So we're talking about the anniversary tomorrow. Alright, so what have we got? Yahweh was compelled to carry out his odd behaviour because he had promised God on the way home from the convent when he was 2424 two, days old. He said to God, you know, you must have left proof of yourself in creation, so if you like, tell me and I will tell the world. 
Oh, you've got your baggy beaver teeth on. <laughs> Lovely. Well, Yoa has always found himself acting contrary to normal self-preservation to be playing out an inexplicably detrimental self-destructive situation, which he placed himself in as of that moment when you uttered those immortal words. Well, God, tell me, I'll tell the world. Oh, I said, if you like. Well, God, if you like. Little kid. <laughs> it's all about thy will being done, isn't it, babe? <laughs> I can imagine that, darling. Hmm? I can imagine that. Beautiful little child, little boy, full of innocence and purity. After having just been in a rage and wanting to punch the lights out, so the boys were arguing in the playground, Jesus was a Pharisee. No, he wasn't, he was a Sadducee. He's that pure, innocent little boy. This is where the Jesus knockout punch comes in. You know? Jesus was anything. In a rage. All right. So they, they present this meat, fancy <laughs> Oh, the uh, fancy. Turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. No, it wasn't. We're always punching somebody. They're both like Mum and Ali. All right. It's all homosexuals, too. Let's roll back to the destruction of the world by the flood of Noah. <clears throat> In the Hindi Vedas, Vedas meaning angels, it tells two important pre Christianity, pre Egyptians, a story of the coming of Jesus by name, how he would die and resurrect, and he is Yahweh or Jehovah. It's not a question, it's a fact. <sighs> now, going back to there, Vedas, we've got the deal struck with Satan, evil, that man had created. Is there a God in the flesh? Man creates evil, man creates the demons because they are God in the flesh so they are able to create whatever evil imagination or they can create good from their imaginations if they happen to be good. But so far, it's all been evil. <sighs> right, control the religion and control the mind via quantum thought. Sprinkle in some poison in the air, water, food, sound, sight and build paradise for the Zionist. And you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. Is what they do. Oh, God. Do Give me a child till he's seven, he's mine for That's right. They were your words and they've taken them. Well, you've got to become like a little child. Mm. Newborn baby, once again. Trust in the Lord. Alright, so you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. So what they've created, hell for you, layer by layer, until every righteous thought has been eradicated from history, leaving the ghost of evil in all things, and they have their paradise. <coughs> well, Dave Dyke is getting on, on board now. He uh, come through the Blasky schools in Russia, demonic shit, thought he was Jesus Christ for a while. And uh, now he's finally nailing it down, because he won't talk about me. But I did make up a site, I did call it David Icke, and I had a lot of hits. Mm. Including him. <laughs> Alright, moving right along. The Catholic Church does not teach the Gospel that all. You know why they don't come out and talk about me? Fear of death. Mm. Yeah. Fear of loss of everything. Mm. I'm not going to arrange that. Well, the only one they should be fearing is you because yeah, you're the only one. Yeah, because they no. don't believe. No. Just stupid. So the bottom line is they're going to die and they're going to lose everything before they die anyway. They will lose their soul because he's the only one who can preserve the soul and it comes through yeah, being unafraid un of the enemy to your soul. The ones that are trying to kill everybody anyway well, and allow everybody. you. Yeah. And allow... <laughs> and allow you to crap on about the things that you crap on without announcing to the world that the Christ is already here. That's the only thing that can save your soul. Right. Are you hearing Donnie me? Gilson is now... Donnie Gilson, Alex Jones, David Icke. Hang oh. in there. It's coming. It's I'm coming. So, no, no, no. Hang right. in there. I'm on my way. Uh, I'm on my way. Everybody there. on the planet who is saying that they are hearing God speaking to them are hearing a lying spirit. Unless you are in this room speaking to him as I am speaking to him now. Hello, darling. You are not hearing from God. Do you hear me? 
You are hearing a lying spirit sent to you to destroy what your is soul. Certain, I would never tell anyone to kill a man. Take it. You would never tell anyone to kill a man. However, demons are and I not men. I would deny the same thing. I would never kill a man. That's right. Demons are not human, though. That's how he's expressing a message to me, because he knows yeah. what, what he's saying. Yeah. What can I know? Oh, All right, clever. moving right along. But Please are you getting this? Alex Jones, you're concerned for your wife, family, children, whatever? Hello? You should have more fear of this dude here for not announcing him. You know who he is. Sherry says you love him. You're repeating everything that she's sending. Your only protection of your family, whom you love so much, because the, the one that you are denying him for well, is going to kill them we, anyway. We've already crossed the 21st of December oh, thing last oh, year because yeah. the Catholic Church yeah. was out by 375 days. They're idiots. So the Mayan calendar predicting the 21st of December 2012, of course, has already occurred because the calendar is out by 375 days of Gregorian. So that means they cannot fulfill You're the You're on the ground floor of heaven where the judgment. creation occurred, right? And they can't do these things to you. They can't no, kill you. They can threaten, but they can't follow through with it. Hello, what have we witnessed in Isaac? Got turned back. They can't do what it is that they were trying to accomplish well, they on would the have other been able to side. Prior to this side. time. They are the days having to be cut short, otherwise there would be no flesh left to save. So we've already got over. We're already safe. Everybody chill and wake up to the reality that the Christ is already here and it's judgment. So, you know, you have nothing to lose by announcing, Hello! His new name of the revelation is Brian Let it go Lightly Marshall. And you have everything to gain. Right? Right. Okay, the Catholic Church does not teach the Gospels at all. So I'm we've got the mark of uh, Ezekiel talks about with his ink horn in it. And you've got four people marked. There's a queen, that's Philip, that's Charles and William. Mm. And if you want a little monarch, his younger brother it would suit the job. He, you were, I saw him wearing a nasty thing on his, on his shoulder. On his arm? Yeah. Oh, he's just had, um, he's just been caught naked with a webcam in a hotel somewhere in Vegas and it's all over the web. Great. That's how they get your name out there. <laughs> but you've never seen a man go to such lengths to show his shortcomings. <laughs> All right, Albert Einstein was a Jew educated in the Talmud, but attending a Catholic school. He stated he did not read the Gospel until he was 32. 32 means well, angel in Greek concordance. The Catholics don't teach the kids the Gospel. That's right. So here he is, 32 years of age, where he decides, after going to a Catholic school all his life and learning the Talmud from his father in the synagogue, he decides to read the Gospels. And then, that was it. He was influenced and taken back by the words of the Nazarene. The luminous and Lazarus. All right, here we go. Reading, reading right along. Okay, so what have we got? We've got Einstein. A Jew, first in the Talmud. He read the Gospels when he's 32. 32 means angel in the Greek concordance. He of all men was very irritated. Post newspaper, 1922, when quoted, he was annoyed with articles printed in the media owned by the Zionist demons of the devil, not Lucifer, for always saying he was an atheist. When in fact, he finally did read the Gospels at 32, he was enchanted and enthralled with the luminosity of the Nazarene. We entitled one of our vids in reference to the belief of Albert Einstein to bring your attention via the genius and logic that he was communicating with the Nazarene. And what happened to that channel? It was taken down. It was shut down faster than you can say spit chips. <laughs> say or is it spitting chips? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Smith chips. I've got some upstairs. Spit, no, no, spitting chips. Isn't that a, no, spitting chips. Spitting chips is angry. Spitting chips, yeah. that's right. 
Why? Because Einstein was giving us a clue. He understood the number was Isaiah 22, 22 and 222. Two, two. It was as if he had studied the concordance and saw this trap built yeah, into the word. Be because he's a mathematician, right? Right. Of God within the 1611 KJV. A book revered for the word of God, albeit the same God Jesus said he was not. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the book within the book. All right, you've got the words that everybody's put together and manipulated. You've got the proof within the book in numbers. That's right. The word of God is in numbers, so it's the book so within the book. Don't get rid of the Quran or the Bible, because the Quran's got numbers in it too. Right, okay. So, Jesus speaking, if you have seen me, you've seen the Father. Father and I, he and I are one. You know, that's a paraphrase. God is love. It's not a question. So who then ordered Moses to slay a man for picking up sticks on the Sabbath? Quoting Numbers 15.35 And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. It's like a Monty Python movie, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What is certain? Yahweh, Brian, would never tell anyone to kill a man. He will not kill an ant. He picks up spiders and takes them outside. So what have you got? You've got the Torah. It's a, it's a hodgepodge of demonic thought intermingled with historical fact and lunacy, fear and terror and religious observance. God to these lunatics is the God of wrath, not love. God of death, not life. God of damnation, not redemption. For as Satan begged to survive the Hindu Vedic flood, Satan begged Yahweh, Yahweh, to be spared. A deal was struck. Quoting, Satan, on your creation, please let me continue. The Lord answered, I will allow you to survive the flood, but no longer will you be giants, that is flesh. You will only be spirits who must repent. As an evil spirit, we see the repentant angels coexist beside mankind, whispering in their ear. Before long, demonic spirits entered evil men and pervaded the earth, existing within open sepulchres of men. So, the graves are the bodies of men walking around. You know, the zombies that they're trying to influence the world that they can create because of their microwave mind control? No, you're already a zombie if you're walking around doing evil or thinking that the cloudy Jesus is going to front up on a big white horse through the clouds to save you. Hello! Christian world, Western Christianity, you are in your grave, your body, the open sepulcher now until you are enlightened well, to the knowledge that the Christ is already here. Alright, quoting Psalm 5 verse 9, For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, their inward part is very wickedness, their throat is an open sepulchre, they flatter with their tongue. Satan returned in the raven, back to the flood of Noah, releasing the raven. And we see in the Tower of London, ravens still nest there. Their ancestors fed off the flesh of executed objectors, like the beheaded Charles I. His execution date, January the 30th, 1649. Now, going back to Noah, he sends forth the raven. It returns. One zero seven seven two six days to my birth, which is the... Diameter. Uh, no, no, diagonal. Diagonal of the red curve is completely wrong. That's right. In feet. And the distance to 7 Trebone Street, Padstow, Cornwall, to 7 Trebone Road, Padstow, which was the house of your father. Okay. So Noah sent forth the raven. It returned. He sent it again, and it did not. Then the dove followed, returning with the olive branch. The raven has telescopic sight and flies at an altitude of over 16,000 feet. The olive branch in heraldry is the marshal. So Satan had to come first as we have to see the damage man with free will can 
do. The deal was man was given free will to do only good. To do evil is a death sentence, a legacy of the former giants who mated with harlots of pre-Sodom days. To simplify, Jesus is named as Yahweh in the Vedas over 4,000 years ago. The Egyptians were primitive tribal barbarians. The angels built Egypt for the altar to the Lord has to be precisely where it is. The speed of light and its latitude are the same. Now, it's all to do with rejection. Yahweh you know, made a video uploaded to the Michelle Nye account entitled For Children's Eyes Only. He started off telling the children that he is God and Jesus. And don't tell your mummy and daddy as they are Christian and all Christians are fucked in the head. And they know he is back but do not want you, the children, to know that Jesus is back. All to do with Psalms 118 verse 22 and Matthew 21 42. The point being that in Matthew 23, 15, we've got Jesus speaking here, quoting, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea, and to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. End quote. So, who is he talking to? He's talking to the temple priests then, the temple priests now. Christianity, you have become totally antichrist and making your children twice the children of hell that the Pharisees were at the cross. Which brings us to Iran, which has always done what God has told them, regardless of modern hypocrites. They will build the temple. It is prophecy. The beast Rome does not teach the gospel, the English KJV Solomon, the Pentagon war machine of enforcement, all part of a vast octopus that is now confronted with the word truth, capital T. Found in 222 verses of the 1611 KJV, as is wisdom in 222 verses, as is Alexandria, 222 in the Greek concordance as is the distance to the pyramid from Alexandria and back, 222 miles. And Yahweh... I've told that to an Egyptian once. Is it Yes, it is. It's now over 260. Is it not driven? Uh, yeah, right. By the gas station to fill up with gas and back again. It's a straight line, all right. <laughs> all right. And he is 74 inches tall. And his medical, medical records record 222 pounds in weight, as does our four dollar. What do you call that thing that you say? Bathroom scale. From the salvo that we bought. <laughs> okay, so what have we got? We've got Joshua equals 74 in English gematria. Jesus is 74. Plus his height is 74 inches. So we've got Joshua 74, Jesus 74, and his height 74. Add them all up and it's oh, two, two, two. Just six Joshua away. That's right. Four counterfeiting the coins, right? Coin, yeah. Coins, mm -hmm. coins, coins. <laughs> ah, oh, two, 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 his weight and a key. Isaiah 22, 22 of David, the house of David, from Jesse, the root of Jesse. All right, we've got... All right, spelling out Jesus in Gematria, English Gematria. J equals 10, e equals 5, S equals 19, U equals 21, S is 19, all added up is 74. Then you've got David. You've got D, 4, times A, which is Number 1, two, times two, 23, right? which is V, times I, which is 9, times 9, two, equals 3168. Low tide, Isle of Man. <laughs> Area two two two, and the centre of the disc of the magnetic motor is two 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 centimetres. So you've got three one six eight equals Lord Jesus Christ in Greek gematria eight hundred eight 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 fourteen eighty added all together is three one six eight. Are you beginning to get the picture yet? It's all in the numbers, the book within the book. Where Yahweh was reborn on one eleven nineteen forty four is three eight seventy seven nautical miles to the south pole. The word God is found for. 1,443 times within 
3,877 versus that number. 3,877 nautical miles to the South Pole. Okay. Now, home, until he was 942 days old, was 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. And it has an English gematria of 485. And it is the height of the completed pyramid with the rejected, reject, rejected capstone in plate. And the 485 is in feet. Okay. Then on the date his mother brought him home from the hospital to 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia, it was January the 25th, 1944, when a solar eclipse was occurring just below the Great Pyramid along the 25 degree latitude. The distance where it crossed the 25 lo degree latitude was 8,888.88 miles back to Rothschild Avenue. And I might add that the 25th of January was the anniversary of the birthday of Martha in 12 AD. You were there, weren't you, babe? <laughs> okay, so you've got 888, which is Jesus in Greek Gematria. 888, as I explained last night, the Trinity. Hello! Alright, the 25 latitude is the width of the completed as laid out footings of the pyramid on lines finely chipped into corner stones sunk into the bedrock. On Yahweh's 942nd day, which was August the 10th, 1946, which is the 222nd day of the year, the Christ family moved to 114 Ridden Street, Mascot, Sydney, Australia, which has an English gematria of 446, which in Hebrew from 410 and 1, God of his father. Aliyah. All right, the base of the pyramid should have been laid out 36,524.24 pyramid inches. The same number as days is 100 years. Therefore, one side is 25 years, and that equals the sun cycle. Therefore, 25 dominates, and we have the 25th latitude on the 25th day of the year equals pyramid 25 year wide. Are you getting it? The synchronicity of the numbers. Shall we give you 100 years to build the Earth paradise, huh? 100 years. Then like that. Might not wait around for thousand fucking years, isn't it? Well, we should be able to do it today's technology, right? What? Well, yeah, well, okay. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Alright, what have we got? So then we add 5813 days, because that's the completed height of the pyramid in inches, and it equals December 11th, 1959. From there, the sunlight duration over Sydney was 862 minutes. Greek dictionary 862 from 1. And a derivative of 5351, undecaying in essence or continuum, not corruptible, immortal. Getting back to the rejection, the removal from the West, the kingdom and given to a nation who will do the Father's will, as they have always done. We're talking about Iran. We have the God verse total from the maternity ward to the South Pole. We have the sunrise, the sunset on Sydney, 111, 1944, of 855 sunrise to set plus 33 minutes until moonrise equals 888 equals Jesus in Greek gematria. 8,880 days later, Yahweh in Port Alberni, Canada, to take on Lucifer, 1966. Matthew 1.23, the verse has a total value of 8,880 in Greek Gematria. Sunrise to sunset in Port Alberni was 8.88 minutes. Yahweh's daughter was born at 8.88 p.m. That's the 8.88 of the hour. She was conceived 280 days earlier and Jupiter was overhead for 888 minutes 
On July 29, 1967, she was born May 4th, 1968. Just going back to last night's vid, <laughs> the ripping yarn part one, that Yahweh title overacting 2012. I actually said that the length of the Nile was 432 miles long. That was wrong if you picked it up. It was 4,132 when I quoted the number 4132, meaning flood, tide. Just thought I'd throw that in. All right. Um, moving right along. If you're not already stupefied at what God has arranged, <laughs> you should be. He came as a baby to teach himself first and re-establish truth, capital T, and wisdom using Iran and Russia to do so. Ah, you think Gog and Magog, right? Wrong. The book is Ezekiel. It has a total of 221 times God said. That's all a sign. That the entire Bible is a manipulation of evils mingled with truth, all entrapped within the concordance, gematria, astronomy, yeah, great the pyramid, the and the measuring the earth. Now, Yahweh's written here, he will end here, so it's laid all out in a much greater synchronistic series of events until now, the Greek alphabet. <laughs> oh, I've already gone through this last night, but I'll go over it again because I just love it. Talking about the Trinity. Why is Jesus the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end of what? Well, creation. And likewise, the Greek alphabet, which has three sections. The first eight letters in value are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The next eight letters 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And the last eight are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So you've got three groups of eight. So you've got eight, eight. Eight. And Iesos, in Greek, when you add up the letters that make up Iesos, they total 888. 888 equals the Trinity. So, you've got Iran, who inherits. Israel, the Western nations, are rejected by God, Yahweh, the Father, the One, as Jesus, he said, the Father and I are one. Note the lower case. Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken away from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Quoting Matthew 21:43, They, the Iranians, love Jesus. Moving right along to October 6, 1995. On this date, the window of Pegasus was opened and astronomers discovered the first solar system outside our own. This time of year is the darkest area of space, enabling astronomers to focus the Space Hubble telescope on the area for long periods. Pegasus 51 was observed to have a planet. The planet rotating around it was hailed to be the very first solar system beyond the Earth. The reason it opens is the number of stars in a given area are very few compared to other areas of the sky. This was the second coming in the clouds prophecy. All symbolic. Yahweh had been charged with uttering a death threat in a court document which was presented by the Crown Prosecutor was a drawing he'd made on his computer. It showed Pegasus with wings jumping through this window. On the picture was 6666. Yahweh's wife, Pauline, had accused him of being a Satanist, hence the 6666. However, she was forced to reveal how many verses the word Lord is found in the KJV 1611. Of course, the answer is 6666. Six verses. One year later, on the same date, he was flying out of Canada into Sydney to be arrested for fraud. <laughs> December 11th, 2011, the solar system crossed the predicted Mayan line, heralding the start of the Golden Age. But astronomers were asleep, even though Yahweh repeatedly told them the crossing of the Milky Way equatorial line was out by 375 days. 
The date is up because the church established time but did not allow for the 365 days between 1 AD and 1 BC, plus the 10 days pro Gregory the 13th added on October the 5th, 1582 in Rome when the sun Right, so that was 666 minutes. So you've got over October the 5th, 1582, October the 6th, 1995, and October the 6th, 1996, he was on a plane to Australia. From that date to December 11th, oh, 2011. Yeah. Oh, he was wearing his tuxedo, Freemason white tuxedo. shirt, bow tie, splattered with red paint, the blood of the nations, having... With the crown of David on the back. With the crown of David on the the back of his white shirt, black tuxedo, red dancing shoes, cowboy hat with a feather stuck in it, wasn't that? Two feathers, yeah. Two feathers stuck, wasn't that Cobra or a cowboy? Cobra. Oh, Cobra, of the Cobra. <sighs> Fulfilling the Isaiah, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Isaiah 63. All right. So, what have we got? October 6, 1966 until December 11, 2011. No, sorry, October 6, 1995, that's when you were in court, till December 11th, 2011. And behold, reading the Revelation, and I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So it was from that day in the courtroom when Pegasus, jumping through the window in the heavens that Yahweh had drawn, 6666, on it from that time until now he was going forth to conquer because you told the authorities I'm ad-libbing here that you were going back to Australia to defeat the beast oh. this is where the battle would take place from the BC to A. D. Every time they got into a police car they'd say on with Christian soldier that's right BC to AD and there I was in BC <laughs> Now, at that time, I was in Washington State. I went back to Chilliwack, B.C., flew to Australia to arrive on the 4th of September, and I was in Sydney on the 8th of October, heading down to my sister's wedding on the 12th, the day after the anniversary of your mother's rebirth to the earth. <sighs> No, I got this fixed then. Oh, lovely. Okay. All right, moving right along. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have to eat soon. <laughs> okay. So, now you've got December 11th, 2011, back to October the 5th, 1582, is 429 years. 429 Hebrew, meaning these. C433. Hebrew Dictionary 433, rarely shortened, a lower R, from 410, a deity or the deity, capital D, God, capital G, C430. So, you've got Yahweh's first wife, a harlot from Lisco, 429 days older than Yahweh. Next we have the Fibonacci number. That is the distance in time from October 5th, 1995. The Court, Canada. To Sunday the 11th of December 2011. One Oh, it's a typo, babe. Sorry, I'm just reading it. You've got 16.18 years. Or 5,911 days. Or 844. You're of your father, the devil, John 844. <sighs> Weeks. Okay, so what have we got? Religion is the con opiate and the control mechanism of the masses got all these gods and legends, Ra and Osiris, okay. The sun god Isis idea 
was an alternative for the Jews who would evolve into the Babylonian prophecies that came by Daniel while he was captive in Babylon shortly after the era of Pythagoras in Babylon. By the time Daniel had reached age 70 years of age, 53 years after 586 BC. Now, Jupiter went into retrograde, reverse motion, last year on August 30th, 2011. 30th, which is today, 2012, 30th of August. 30th of August in 1769 was the sighting by Lieutenant Cook of the Messier Comet when 88,888 days was added to that date. It lands on January 11th, 2013, which is Yahweh's 69th birthday and 69 in English Gematria is Jehovah. Messier discovered the comet in France 22 days earlier in 1769 on August the 8th. So when 88,888 days are added to that date, it lands on December the 21st, 2012. 30th of August 2011, the apparent backward path of Jupiter, which is 88,800 miles wide across the sky, returned to the same position in space by March 19th, which is the rebirth date of Mary Magdalene, who was Yahweh's first wife as Jesus in 33 AD and his third wife as Brian from May the 11th 1997 her, date, her name today Michelle Nye <sighs> and she was born on March 19th 1947 being 1162.6 days after his rebirth date on January 11th 1944 what does it all mean well <laughs> If you're not confused already, here comes some more at you with the numbers. Michelle's daughter Rhiannon is 11.626 years. Remember, it's all about the numbers. Younger than Tracy Lee, which was Yahweh's firstborn daughter by Eileen, his first wife. She, Eileen, 429 days older than Yah, which means God, born on November the 8th, 1942. 429 Hebrew with God. Rhiannon was born on December 20th. 1979 in Geelong, Australia, where the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes and 888 degrees. Jesus. 777 days after Nicole. Okay, which was 777 days after Nicole, which is 2.127 years, which is the number for Zia in First Chronicles 5.13, right beside Yuck Khan, 3275, which is the number for Michelle, who was 32.75 years old when she gave birth to Zia or Rhiannon. Two one two seven. All right, that's all ad living, guys. Um, okay. Now, Tracy, born Port Alberni, when was eight 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 minutes, and Yahweh was eight thousand eight hundred eighty days old, which is the total in English gematria of Matthew one twenty three, which is all about God with us, Emmanuel. The antechamber leading into the king's chamber is. Remember this number, the key to the house of David. It's all about the antechamber. 116.26 pyramid inches wide. Okay, here we go again. Yahweh married Eileen on April the 23rd, 1966. 1966 is the word for Lucifer. When he was 1162.6 weeks of age. Jupiter required 202 days to complete its retrograde, returning to the same location in space, March 19, 2012. And 202 is the number of masonry layers on the pyramid up to the rejected capstone. And for those out there yeah, who say there's 204, the last two have been crumbled. They are but stones and dust on top of the 202. And Yahweh only has 204 bones within his body instead of the 206 that everybody else has. And 206 is the number for the Queen's Chamber. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> on the 31st of August 2012, which is tomorrow, the moon is full. It passes over the east coast of Australia. The distance to the moon from the Earth tomorrow in Earth radii to that point is 60.7 for the full moon. So, what does that mean? It leads to Isaiah 60, reading from verse 1. 60.1 Earth radii. Reading, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. What does it mean? Your enlightenment has come when you see the flesh body, which is the glory of the Lord, standing in front of you, talking plainly through the computer screen to the world. Arise, shine, your light has come. The glory of the Lord 
this flesh body. That is the glory of the Lord. All right. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Hello. What are you doing, babe? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, please, I'm almost finished. I'm watching the thing. I'm almost there. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it will, it will. But, you know, the glory of the Lord right now is sitting over the other side of the boardroom table that we use, the dining room table that we bought for 80 bucks with eight chairs. The eight, eight, eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> and this is where we ate dinner last night. <laughs> all right. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, here we go. Now, so, how much darker can it get than today? Hello? And Yahweh, the Lord, is seen on the internet through the computer where every eye will see and every ear will hear. Okay. Now, what he's doing? He's doing, he's doing, he's got a screenshot here, but nobody can see it because they're just looking. Okay. Moving right along, verse 3 from Isaiah 60. And the Gentiles shall come to see thy light, shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. That's Muhammad and the Quran. Lift up thine eyes round about and see. The Quran better get on and do it first, all these Muslims before the bloody Christians do. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, there's verses about that one being jealous of the other, so they get their acts together and start doing what you're asking them the to do. Bloody not going to do it. No, that's for sure. They're at the door and they're costed by me on the weekend and ran off clean. <laughs> Again. All right. Lift up thine eyes around about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons and daughters. With Rachel there in the kitchen. We've got Job in the media room. <laughs> Shall come from far. Rachel, 54 and a half hours bus trip from Adelaide. Joel, well, just down the street from the Sunshine Coast. But we've got them coming from Germany in the USA from Poland and from all over. And thy daughter shall be... going back to England is now missing. Yes, we can't... We have had no word from Dex. Jonas has yeah. gone into Nineveh. <laughs> okay, and... and uh, okay, so sons and daughters shall be nursed at thy side. That means... Hello! Sons and daughters are now coming from all over the world. Thou sh Then, verse 5, Thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. We've already got the captains up. <laughs> That's Iran and the Arab League. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All they from Sheba, who's the cat, shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth <laughs> shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory all the world. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? They are the world air forces. So that's Isaiah 60, finishing at verse 8. Now, I'm almost through this document. So what have we got? So with the exceptions of the Iranians, Yahweh is not playing favourite. The Lord's Prayer revamped. Yes. Our Father, who art on the earth, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come, and thy will now be done on earth as promised in heaven. The truth will set you free, he said as Jesus. Free from what? Religious dogma. The meek inherit the earth. Who are the meek? Iran. As Jesus, he said, quoting, Suffer the little children and hinder them not, for to them belongs the kingdom of God. All children, sorry, all adults must become like small children to enter into his kingdom which has come to the earth. To be born again means to reincarnate 
As Jesus, he taught much about reincarnation and the conversation he had with Nicodemus was lengthy to explain that like the sun, the soul of man must rise and set until it has reached its perfection and come to the city and the mansion that is now. Revelation 19.12 And a name written that only he would know is Brian Leonard Golightly Marsh. Amen. And 600 million <laughs> Indians can't be wrong on reincarnation. That's they right. They've got you outvoted. Totally. Complete. Now, of course, the number of words in this document that uh, Yahweh put together, and we've got a screen capture of it somewhere, the number of words total was 9,131. And that just happens to me be the length in pyramid inches of one side of the pyramid, totaling at days 25 years. So here endeth the ripping yarn in the time machine. <laughs> well, no, no, we can't have escaped the time machine. <laughs> anyway, guys, you get the drift. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Mm-hmm. <laughs>